Capricorns, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for May 30th through June 5th, 2016. I'm Athens. This is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. All right, so Capricorn, this week we have a new moon, which is forming a grand cross in the sky. And the new moon is going to be over the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday. And so this week, as we approach that grand cross, it is about implementing these energies at least in our spiritual development, because we will be in the balsamic phase of the lunar cycle, which is more of that receptive approach and creating that space for the new beginnings, which are around the corner. And uh, with the Grand Cross, it's particularly about taking that, you know, um, active approach to our spiritual development, to really challenging ourselves spiritually, right? And it's really through these Grand Cross type of situations or any square situation that long lasting things are built that true and meaningful things are built in our life. So it's that kind of week. And as you can see here in the transit graph, these are all the aspects of that Grand Cross leading towards that weekend. So let's go ahead and break this down in terms of uh, what this is all involving. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, Mercury is going to be trining up to Pluto, which is outside of this Grand Cross these two days. Uh, but this is involving, I think, what has been a bit what you've been learning about, either your home life, maybe with family, or your health this past month and that stuff's moving forward and it's very well aspected uh, so this these two days it could be quite powerful maybe around the personal life maybe with your health with home life good uh, energy with that and I think it could be quite deep and profound uh, at least in terms of your perspective of them or any insights with them as well so then as we get into Wednesday and Thursday this is when we form the first aspect with this grand cross and that's going to be the Sun squaring up to Neptune so what I want to say with all this, the new beginnings are all about your self-expression. All right, the new moon is going to be in your fifth house, conjoining up to Venus, who rules your fifth house, really emphasizing that. All right, and there's also a new beginning with your career and your productive life. And, uh, you know, that's the Venus who rules your 10th as well. But it's all in the area of you expressing yourself, you cultivating perhaps your interests in life, things that are fun. You know, this is all about... Um, you either expressing yourself or cultivating the things that are close to the heart, your passions. All right, it could even be both. <clears throat> so as you approach that, kind of reflecting on this, right, and kind of seeing that, because your focus is already here. The, the sun's already in that fifth house. You're gaining that energy, gaining that prana in terms of you expressing yourself and tapping into that lighter, more playful side of life. But again, it's a spiritually developmental time of going within. And I think particularly here on... Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, <clears throat> working on the spiritual side of this. And this is the fact that Neptune's been in your second house, helping you have more peace in your life regarding the material life. All right, the second house is about the finances. It's about the material life. It's about assets. It's about our sense of self-worth, which is all kind of hazy at the moment. It has been for many years with Neptune here in the second. But what's happening is, is Neptune is showing you the importance of having acceptance here with the material life which then leads to peace and tranquility and understanding that there's a divine process involved with all of that as well so that's the uh, spiritually liberating point but it's also aspecting the fifth which means when it comes to you expressing yourself this week whether again it's you know literally or if it's through a project or whatever it might be it's having that acceptance there and that acceptance then just like there creates that spiritual liberation where the self-expression is just happening naturally and just flowing and uh, creating what could be peace and tranquility with that area very constructively now Thursday and Friday the Sun opposes up to your ruler Saturn so this is the very uh, important element of balance with this Grand Cross and this is balance with what I think for over about the past year, you guys have been working hard or assuming responsibilities with your aspirations or maybe with your, you know, what you're deriving from your work, maybe your income from your work or other types of value through your work. For some of you, your network circles, getting serious with networking, whatever that is, it's understanding that this is about balance here and that it's good to put in that energy there with your aspirations, but uh, with moderation because if there's too much of it it becomes too dense too concretized and then it 
it can create that you know that limitation there and likewise if there's too much energy on just the self-expression just the fun just the playfulness or whatever's cultivating here in your fifth house then it becomes ungrounded all right without the Saturn so it's understanding that these are really just two sides of life that are the same that our aspirations do require us to express ourselves and to tap into the things that we find enjoyable and fun and lighthearted and vice versa you know in order to cultivate these you know uh, inspirational or self-expressive areas of life we do have to cultivate our aspirations we do have to give and contribute and uh, focus on the bigger picture so uh, that's a good way of working with it good balance you guys you know particularly with your self-expression because of the opposition to the Sun and your ruler nearly emphasizing the importance of that as well now Thursday and Friday also coinciding with this Venus squaring up to Neptune again the importance of acceptance with both the material life and with the self-expression and I think even too with the career stuff just having faith and trust and acceptance here that can be creating the um, the peace and again the spiritual development and I want to say too that Venus is getting very close to the Sun so uh, with her being the ruler of your tenth and of your fifth when it comes to your career though there is a lot of this kind of you know this just light energy it's just prana it's just the energy of the Sun that kind of drowns that out so we're not exactly seeing it all that clearly so it's good to be modest it's good to be balanced here in regards to uh, those areas with career and even your self-expression just to be aware of it to bring the extra tension there so it does stay nice and balanced and then of course Venus opposing up to Saturn moderation even with the enjoyments of life because that is your ruler and that's Venus I think will be important this week also now that conjunction with the Sun and Venus uh, is going to be squaring up to the Jupiter side of it so this is where there has been opportunities this year for you to really get deep and raw and open and intimate in your life so that's still definitely unfolding there's certainly possibilities with that but with the square it could be an either over or under extreme collectively with this so if you're feeling it personally in the, in the over extreme sense of uh, you know wanting things to come easy in this area with intimacy or with the deeper things of life then understanding that of course it does take work that there are these actions we can take I think more on the spiritual developmental side of action or on personal development but still you know that constructive approach especially with your ruler squaring up to that Jupiter there and vice versa if it's under extreme you know wanting it to uh, uh, or, or what is it uh, over extreme you know wanting to come easy but if it's an under extreme of maybe pessimism and not seeing the opportunities there in terms of what can be really meaningful to you and deep to you in life it's realizing that there are opportunities there and lifting up that Jupiter a bit and again working with it constructively so that's the aspects approaching the new moon which will be on Saturday and Sunday again new beginnings with your self-expression and um, you cultivating that in this grounded way and I think for these uh, these weeks after this you know really putting that into motion but this week particularly on the internalized you know point of really going within and uh, listening and working on ourselves spiritually particularly in those key areas all right so Capricorns have a fantastic week thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week